Good evening. Let's say prayers. Namo Tassa Bhagavato Bhagavato Sama Sambhutasa Namo Tassa yesterday so the first one is but we see na tranquility meditation comes from the buddha so these ten kasina meditations are already known you know, before the buddha appear so when the buddha <coughs> was a bodhisattva fulfilling his perfection he can also develop all these ten kasina no? why he was a bodhisattva but when he became a buddha no? he made the, uh, the, this kasina meditation to be very systematic and people can develop them to attain the eight jhanas very easily and then the second question besides tranquility meditation can no, uh, besides, he said, no. tranquility meditation can overcome hindrances and temporarily no, dismiss them. Any other meditation method no, that can uproot the five hindrances? Yes, there is another the, the, the method discovered by the Buddha. No, on his day, on his uh, on the day he became enlightened as the Buddha, and it was an, no, the noble threefold training, and it's also called the noble eightfold part. So, no, the noble eightfold part consists of the training of morality as the basis for meditation. Then you have to undertake the samatha meditation, no, to suppress those defilements you know, and all the arising defilement including the, the hindrances not to arise in the mind and after you attain the, that purity of the mind you have to undertake vipassana meditation no? so by, by undertaking vipassana meditation you can develop no, ten insight knowledges and four part wisdom so as soon as you attain the full path wisdom, no, you also attain the full fruition wisdom. And these, no, the eight, eight supramundane consciousnesses and the wisdom, they can be aware of Nibbana. And then, no, the, this, this nine Dhamma, full path wisdom, full fruition wisdom, and Nibbana are known as the nine supramundane dhammas. No, when we, we say prayers, no, at, at the end, we have that word, nine supramundane dhammas. And they are regarded as the most beautiful and the most no, uh, the noblest, the dhamma, because they can eliminate all defilements, no, including their roots, that we call no, the root, the root, the root of defilements, uh, latent defilement. So all can be you know, eliminated totally. So your mind will become totally pure from all, from all these defilements, as they were uprooted and already destroyed. They will never arise again. So you become you know, arahat, noble person. So that is the best and the highest attainment in life. 
So you know, the meditation can give us to the highest attainment in life. And another question it is, is it important to memorize the Pali, uh, the Pali form as I find it very confusing? <laughs> Of course, at the beginning, no, when we find these uh, the Pali words, no, so we are not familiar to them, and then you can become confused. But no, <clears throat> if you feel confused, just omit it. No, <laughs> we just give you no, we the equivalent of the, the, the we all all no, in my book actually I try to not to translate all these the. Pali words into English, into English. So if you know not this English the translation, it's all right. It's all right. And now we we put the 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 Pali word because they are the exact no, meaning of these ultimate realities, each of them, and they are the exact no, meaning, and they are, and then they are very short to understand to 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 remember. And then it, it can precisely you know, show what it is. Like in the English translation, uh, several translators, they may, they may have several different uh, the, uh, the translations. Then when you, you read it, you don't know precisely what, what it means. So in that case, when you have the, the Pali, you know it. Then you can know them very easily. So no, there are many, not many Pali words here. No, like you know, the we have 121 types of you know, consciousness. No, we have Pali words there, and then you know, also the, now we are studying the 52 you know, mental factors. So you have to know, you know that the this that the the number the not the, their names is much better if you can know it. Not just like in chemistry, we say you have to remember 90, 92 names of the the not the the, the they call it not the, the and the elements, not 92 elements. So you have to know the name, and then they have they combine to form many many you know millions of <laughs> millions of compounds. You know? So if you you know this name, then you can easily understand these compounds also. And then, so don't worry about that. The the, the the Pali words, you get confused. Just you know, keep it away, <laughs> and uh, try to try to, you know, to get the familiar later and later later on. And then the third no question. I have gastric problem. Not able to take no, uh, the only two meals in retreat. How can I make progress? In my no, in my practice, and what should I do? So no, that may be the problem for some for many people, including myself. I also have gastric problem. So now, when you take the eight no, the eight precepts or nine precepts, we call them separate precepts. No, so we are allowed to take no to take. Uh, like the fruit juice, and then no, like the, the, the we, we, we say palm sugar. Palm sugar is very, very convenient actually. No? So the, the palm sugar, you just put in hot water, the milk, no? the, the dissolve, and then you can drink it very nice, no? very nice. And then the Buddha also prescribed the stumadu, they call. No? So, and they, they make it, you know, it jelly. You know? you know, I think from, from the honey and that, you know, the palm sugar, and then do other things. So you know, that you are all the, the people can take. And if you, st you have still problem you know, with the stomach, that, you know, then you can take you know, the light food, any light food you like. You know, as we say, gilana, they say gilana meals. <laughs> So it is allowed by the Buddha no, to, for, for the, no, the sick person or, no, who are not well or who, who need them, then to, to take it. It's all right. No, it doesn't matter. No? 
And then another thing you can do is you can observe the eight precepts that are observed by the Bodhisattva. No, the, the hermits and the Bodhisattva, they usually observe no, the eight precepts known as Ajivata Maka Sila. Ajiva means no, the, uh, the, the right, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, Ajiva. No? So the right livelihood. No? You have to make the, li uh, uh, the, uh, the, the right livelihood. And it is you know, as the atta, ataka, ataka means the eight. It is the eight factor of this, uh, the, uh, the eight precept, the eight factor. The first three <coughs> and the second, you know, the, the second four, they are just like the panja sila, uh, panja sila, abstaining from three bodily evil action, and three four bhavo, you know, bhavo evil action, and then abstain from the wrong livelihood. Eight. No, so you can for that you can take uh, no, any time some meal you like <laughs> if, if it's necessary for you. Okay, now we can go to our problem. <coughs> so we start discussing the mental factors yesterday. And we say we have you know, the 13 neutral mental factors, so consisting of the eight essential mental factors. So they are passa, you know, it makes the contact between con and the consciousness and the sense object, and producing feeling. And that feeling, Vedana, is you know, it's a feeling or sensation, and it is also the one that not that he enjoys the taste of the feeling. And then we have the, the, pan, the sanya is perception. So it, it perceives you know, the detailed the features of a sense object. You know, whichever you see object, so it tries to see you know, from uh, uh, you know, various angles to know it, you know, the, to know it in every, uh, to know every feature of that object. And chitana, we say, is volition or intention. So, you know, this volition and the chitana is also called kama. And then, you know, this kama is very important, actually. So, you know, I will give you an, an, the, an example. For example, if a mosquito bites your, no, your, <coughs> no, say your face, no? and then you get the painful feeling. Now, as soon as you get the painful feeling, consciousness is aware, aware of that painful feeling, and then when you get you know, the, the painful feeling, anger, you know, dosa, anger will arise. So that means anger will arise as dosa, mula, chita. And then you know, the anger, anger, we, we, we shall see later, it is the most destructive element, the Buddha said. And you not know, anger. When you get angry, then you know, your, your, the anger demands that. Now this mosquito is biting me very painfully. It must be killed. You no, know? so try to kill it, but it cannot kill the, the. It cannot bring about the killing of the mosquito. So it is chitana, you not know, that associates with every mind. So when it associates with the anger. It becomes angry volition, <laughs> angry volition, and it, this is the volition that sets the, the motive. Now we must kill this mosquito. So, no, the, the one that sets the motive is very important. And then it prompts, no, it prompts its associated consciousness and mental factors to do their respective you know, function to accomplish the killing action. Then no, the consciousness, no, our consciousness, it will produce mind-born materiality to swing the, no, the, 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 the hand and smash the mosquito, the mosquito dies. Who killed the mosquito? As the hand no, smashes the mosquito, you might say, oh, the hand, you are the killer. <laughs> but the hand would say, I am just materiality, I cannot move by myself. 
Now, if you live here, I would just stay, I have to stay like here. But it is my consciousness. Because it moves me, I have to move. <laughs> then you might say, then consciousness, you are the actor killer. <laughs> you swing the, the hand and kill the, the mosquito. So consciousness also gives the argument. I am just aware of the mosquito bite. <laughs> I'm just, I am aware of the, the painful feeling. But I have no intention to kill the, the mosquito. So the Chaitanya Bulichin you know, asked me to swing the hand, so I swing it. <laughs> so, so you can see you know, the, the consciousness is an accomplice, but not the real, not the real killer, actually. Who is the real killer then? So we have to take you know, the will volition. It sets the, it sets the motive to kill, and it prompts all its concomitant to do so that, you know, so it takes you know, the, the, the responsibility to accomplish the, the, the action. Now, every of you try to do, do it, give it, give it, give it, so, so <laughs> finally it's killed. So because, you know, it is the volition, you know, the killing action is accomplished, and then, you know, here we, 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 we have, I think, maybe here, no, Chaitanya is here. Oh, there this, no? That I give in the bow type are the uh, important, no? Important, what I give you in bow type. So Chaitanya sets the intention or the motive to perform an action. And it prompts its concomitants, no? That means associate, its associated conscious and mental factors to do their respective functions to accomplish, accomplish the action. So Chaitanya is responsible for accomplishing the action and it is identified with the action. So the Buddha remark, volition is action. No, action is called karma in Pali. So action is karma, the same thing. Thus I say, O monks, for as soon as prompted by volition, one does the, of the action, be it by body, speech or mind. Remember, we perform an action, no, by bodily action, bubble action, and then mental action. We have three types of action. So, no, you will accomplish the action in any way. And the Buddha, no, he called this volition as the karma. No? So, we say excluding Vedana and Sanya. So yesterday we say Vedana is classified as a feeling aggregate and all the Vedana, no? and then all sanyas, perception, uh, uh, classified as the sanya, sanya khanda. So it is the perception aggregate. And then all the remaining 50 mental factors, together with no, the volition, which is the foremost among these mental factors, and so all this group of, group of 50 consciousnesses are called Sankharak Kanda, no, aggregate of mental formation, which is also one of the five aggregates of existence. So no, how many men, mental factors do you have? No, we can classify these mental factors into three aggregates. So what are they? With the, no, with the neck Kanda, feeling aggregate, Sanya Kanda, Perception aggregate, and then Sankara Khanda, aggregate of mental formation. And all consciousnesses are classified as consciousness aggregate. And all materialities, they are classified as no, materiality aggregate. So at the yoga, these are called the five aggregates. No, so the Buddha, no, in these five aggregates, Everything on earth uh, included actually, no, included. So no, in all the universe and in all the world, what really is uh, exists is only these five aggregates. No, in these five aggregates, remember, all materiality are included, and all consciousness are included, and all mental factors are included. So we say what really exists in the universe are only these mentalities and materialities. 
So, no, he, he, the Buddha, he classified all these things in those five groups, he said. No, none, none of these five groups can we go a person, can we go a living being, can we go no, either I, you, he, she, like that, you cannot call it. So, now to show that there is no, no person, no, no, no person, no, no man, no woman, <laughs> no you, no I. So only five aggregates no, really exist. So, no, if you, you can understand that, it's very, very good, actually. No? Then we go to the, the sixth one. So number five is ekakada. No, it be, uh, eka means one, so it is called one-pointedness. Ekakada unites consciousness and mental factors no, that arise together with it. You know, he unites all these, you know, the, it's concomitant harmoni harmoniously and focus them on one object. It prevents its concomitants, you know, those that associate with it are called concomitants from you know, dispersing, you know, from dispersing. So, you no, know, and then the same thing, like uh, dissipation and dispersing, and fixes them on the one object. So it is similar to water you know, that binds together several subst substances to form one concrete mass. Ekagata is one of the five jhana factors. So when developed you know, and cultivated by tranquility meditation, so it is known as smarty concentration. So that, that means mental concentration, smarty. And it is the seat of all attentive, selective, focused, and concentrated, you know, the consciousnesses. So, you know, when the mind becomes concentrated, and the concentration, you know, if you can attain the right concentration, so the Buddha, in many sutta, you know, including the, 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 you know, the sutta of effort, Vidya Sutta, so he persuades the monks, not to develop mental concentration, not up to the right concentration. No, please develop, and develop the, the right concentration, the Buddha said. Only when you attain the right concentration, no, you will help, no, you will help the wisdom no, that can know ultimate realities and the four noble truths as they really are. Otherwise, you cannot know, no, you cannot see the, the ultimate realities. No, you cannot know. So, and the mind becomes very powerful when they, they are concentrated. As I told you, when you attain the right concentration, that is either neighborhood concent the neighborhood concentration or the concentration associated with the eight jhana attainment are called the right concentration. Now, when you can concentrate like that, the mind becomes very, very powerful. And then, Number six is jivita indriya. No, jivita means light. Indriya means faculty. So it is translated no, as light faculty or psychic light. So it is called jivita, no, light, because it sustains its concomitant. So it sustains its concomitant mean. So no, it sustains the, the conscious and mental factors that arise together with them so that they last their, throughout their lifespan. No, so without the jivita and the jivita indriya, no, consciousness and mental factor, as soon as they arise, they will perish. They cannot perform any function. So if the, you know, the, the mental factors and conscience cannot do their, no, their functions, we shall die. We shall die, so it's very important. No. And we say, just as lotuses are sustained by water and an infant by inas, so in the same way, no, we say, mental concomitant, that means conscious and mental factors, are sustained by jivita indriya. So if there, no, there is water in the pond, no, in the pond, then the lotus, no, the lotus, the flowers, they were thrived, they were alive, and they were, you know, they were even blossomed. 
But when the, when the water dries up, so all lotuses will, will die. So we can see water, you know, sustain lotuses to be, to be alive. So we can say that water is the life of the lotuses. So in the same way, you know, we say you know, the conscious mental factors are sustained by this jivitendriya. So without jivitendriya, they, you know, they cannot be alive, they will, they will perish. Okay. And manasikara is attention or reflection. And manasikara is the mind's first confrontation with an object. And you know, it directs its associated mental concomitants to the object. Now there is the two function of the manasikara. So we say it is therefore the prominent factor in the two avajana chaita. No, avajana chaita, no, the two of them. So pancha dwaravajana and mano dwaravajana. So no, <laughs> we. So we we we, you know, we are using the the, the, the Pali words like he, here to make it you know, the precise and and the, and and short you know, to make it short and precise. So you no, know, the it's not very difficult to name to know their meaning. Pancha means five, and then you know, Dwara means the door. Avajana. You know, avajana you know, is the, so the apprehending the, the chitta, pancha dwara vajana, you know, takes notice of the, the sense object that appears in one of the five sense door, you know, in the five sense door. So if the visible object you know, appears in the eye, then it is pancha, pancha dwara vajana, which confronts you know, this the object first. And also it directs you know, the, the conscious and the its concomitants to, to, you know, to, to see this object. So we say it is also similar to the radar of a ship. The radar of a ship you know, to, to directs the ship to go to its destination. So if the radar does not go it, so you know, the ship will go in many ways. <laughs> so you cannot arrive at the, you know, the destination. So you know, it also directs its concomitants to the object. So, and then the other, the avajana chitta is you know, the manodva avajana, we call them. And they are you know, the mind door directing consciousness, we call it. Mind door directing consciousness. If sense object begins the mind, it would be the manodva avajana to take notice of that sense object. And these two you know, consciousnesses, so breaking through the life continuum, Boinga, known as the first stage of the cognitive process. Well, you, know, you will understand later, don't worry about this. Now, we said, as the Radha of a ship directs her to her destination, so also this manis Manasikara or attention, you know, this mental factor, so it directs Consciousness and its men, uh, mental factor, associate mental factors towards a sense object. Without you know, the, this manasikara, the mind is like a rudderless ship and it cannot be aware of the sense object. No? And then also, you know, the manasikara appears fre frequently in the sutta you know, as. Yoni so manasikara. Yoni so manasikara means wise reflection. No? So, ah, yoni so manasikara means unwise reflection. And wise reflection no, will give rise to moral consciousness. And unwise reflection will, will lead to immoral consciousness. So, no, to develop moral consciousness, no, it is important that you can make wise reflection. No? So you can make wise reflection only you know no, about, the, about the ultimate realities and their characteristics and also the, the, the law of karma and its, no, its result. Only then you can make wise reflection. Well, these seven mental factors, no, they, they are essential so, no, to, to help the, 
the consciousness to be aware of the sense objects. So no, the, the deeper form, no, on the collective in, in this way. So no, after this. Okay. Now we say no, how the, the way they walk. And then first no, the, the Manasigara first confronts with the sense object no, that appears in the sense door and directs its concomitant, the conscious mental factors, no, towards the object. So no, the, it begins with the Pancha Dwara Vachana. And then no, in, in that consciousness, this Manasikara is the one no, that confronts the sense object and directs conscious and mental factor towards the object. Then that Chidana, no, Chidana, no, so it, it, it now, no, so uh, it acts on the Chita and prompts them, no, it's concomitant to perform their respective function, no, to, to accomplish the, the action of the, the, no, the knowing the sense object. And then Pasa. No, let the chaita to be in contact with the mental, uh, the mental conscious uh, concomitant, no, the chaita and its concomitants, no, to, to, to come in contact with the sense object. And then by that contact, Vedana is produced and Vedana enjoys no, the feeling, enjoys the taste of the sense object, which arises from the contact. And Sanya perception takes note of the object and help us to recognize the object if we have seen it before. And Ekagada focuses conscious and mental factors on the object. It unites its concomitants with the chaita together to be at the, at the state of one-pointedness on the object, a condition which is also essential for the awareness of the object. And that psychic light, no, Jivitendriya, sustains the vitality of its concomitants, so its concomitants are consciousness and mental factors, so that they will remain alive and active no, to, to, to their full lifespan. Otherwise, they will perish before the task of getting or knowing no, the object is completed. So, no, these uh, seven mental factors, no, no, the essential mental factors, you can see very, very you know, important, very essential in life. And among the, you know, the, the worldly consciousnesses, mundane consciousnesses, you know, the, the, this, the, you know, the Chitana volition is the most important, you see. In supramundane consciousness, wisdom is the most important. You know? Wisdom is also a mental factor. You know? And we, you know, we, we also see that, you know, like the psychic light, no, it, it also remain, uh, it keeps us alive, to be alive. And then, no, the, like the Samadhi, no, Ikakda, no, to, uh, it can develop mental concentration and, and very, very important. No, to, 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 it, it, and then we see with, uh, the feeling with uh, no, the, the it, it represents no, the sensual pleasure, actually. So we go to the next group. No, the, the next group is you know, the particular mental factors. There are six of them. So you know, one is we take a, we call initial obligation of the mind to a sense object. So you know, it, it also initiates a thought, and so it is also called thought conce conception. Vichara is sustained obligation of the mind on the object by examining the, uh, the, the object again and again. So by observing or examining the object again and again, you think about the object up and on, and we call it discursive thinking. So, no, it, it, so it, this produces a thought conception, and this produces the discursive thinking. And you, we already remember uh, in the five jhana factors, no, when we thought about the, the developing the Jhana consciousness, we already saw them no, as the Jhana factor, Vitekka, Vichara, and then Piti, no, they are the Jhana factors. And then Adimokha, 
no, makes the decision or determination whether the sense object is good or bad. Viriya is the effort or energy or exertion. And it is very important mental factor also. So we also call it, no, the, the, it is a key to success. No? Whatever you do, if you have very strong effort, no, you will succeed in that, in that, in that task. Pity is joy or rapture or no, interest in the sense object. Chanda is wish, desire, or will. So we give you no, a little uh, explanation here. So for Vitega, no, just know that it, uh, it applies the mind no, towards the sense object. And then no, we say, and then the Vitega, no? and uh, oh, um, applies them onto the object. And then, no, this, this is not very important. So we say we take the Manasikara and Chitana, no? They can be differentiated further by comparing them with different persons in a boat, racing to a flag. So Manasikara, no, they're dead. That confronts with the sense object. It's like the rudder of the, or controller of the boat, no, as it, it derives the consciousness stream towards the object. It's like the rudder of a ship. And then we take uh, it's like you know, the rovers in the, in the hull of the boat, you know, rowing to get to the, to the destination. And Chitana, you know, Chitana, uh, that you know, volition, is like the foremost rover you know, who not only rows the boat, himself, but also urges others to row the, uh, the boat. No? The, <coughs> so, the, to, to get to the, their, no, their destination, so no, these are the, they walk together, we can say. So this we take, uh, and then, no, so it is, uh, we say a jhana factor, so here I think we have. So we take uh, is a jhana factor, no? Jhana factor, and then no, it, it, uh, the, it inhibits the slot and topper, no, slot and topper, not to arise in the mind. Among the five hindrances, no, so, so we have slot and topper. So it is, no, we take uh, it, uh, the, it, it eliminates that, that. Okay. And then we have vichara, sustained application of the mind. So, no, it follows the vitekka, and it is also a jhana factor, and then no, the vitek, uh, vichara. So it inhibits vitekka, septa go down, no, not to arise in the mind. Remember, these are the, 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 the two hindrances, no, the septa go down and slot and topa. No? And then we have adhimokha, no, that make determination, no, whether the same object is good or bad. So we say it opposes no vijikecha. No, vijikecha is also acceptable doubt, uh, the, no, the, a, a hindrance. So it is the doubt about the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha, no, vijikecha. So no, if you have the doubt, you cannot make a, a, a determination whether the same object is good or bad. And vidya effort is more or less equivalent to effort, energy, exertion, Manliness and heroism, it may be defined as the state of being energetic or manliness. No? And then, and then no, it has the characteristics, characteristic of supporting and upholding its concomitants. As a leaning old house, supported by new pillars, may not fall, so also no, the concomitants supported by virya, will not give way. So whenever we perform, no, the, we perform a task, like Lani and Vidama, no? so at the beginning you, you will have no, the, the, some difficulty. No? Usually we should have the difficulty. So when you have the difficulty, you, you want to give up. Oh, I will not be able to, to understand the Vidama. So if you, no, if you are the virya effort is, is weak, then you, you stop coming. <laughs> you don't come anymore. 
So in that way, you know, if, you, if your effort is weak like that, you will never accomplish you know, anything in life, you know, anything in life. So we say when a house is, is an old house is leaning, about to fall, so if you support with a strong pull, then the house will, you know, will not fall down, it will remain like that. So the same thing, you know, when the, the mental, the conscious and mental factors want to get up, so we there try to, you know, try to support them, not to retreat, <laughs> not to retreat. So just to persevere, you know, perseverance. So just keep on doing until you, 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 you accomplish or you, you, you succeed. So we also give another, another example. So effort is just like a strong reinforcement you know, that helps an army to hold on. You know, when an army is you not know, overpowered by, by the you know, overpowered by the, you know, the, their enemies, so the army would like to, you know, to, you know, to pull back, to retreat, but now a strong reinforcement comes, you know, comes, comes up. Then you know, they will fight on and they will, they will win the, the fighting. So instead of retreating, no, we are opposed or uplift its concomitants. We are is regarded as a spiritual faculty, so this you can leave behind. No? So we say, no, the, the, this is, we are should be regarded as the root of all achievement. No? The root of all achievement, the causes of all achievement. So it, is, you know, it can be regarded as a key to success. So, no, the Buddha said, if your effort is very strong, you will, no, you will succeed in whatever you do. So, no, we say the Buddha has no, the, 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 the greatest effort, and so he could become a Buddha. No? So otherwise, no, he, no, nobody can become a Buddha no, with very strong effort. And then, pity joy is also no, the jhana factor, we say. No, rapture or interest, and it is generally translated as rapture, joy or interest or enthusiasm. It is, it is related to pamuk, pam, pamukja. Pamukja is gladness. So we say gladness gives rise to joy, and joy gives rise to, no, to the pleasant feeling, sukha, pleasant feeling. So PT is the prikasa of sukha, no? as it gives rise to sukha, the PT. And then no, they make a, and the, and the, I give the, the, an example here. Like the sight of a pond to a weary traveler is PT. And like drinking water and bathing there is sukha. So no, a traveler, he has been traveling the whole day. So he became very tired, no, very tired. No, he, he didn't even no, uh, do not want no, to, to, to step up, very tired, and then also very thirsty. Now if another no, the traveler came from the opposite direction. He said, oh, my friend, you just go about, two, about no, the, the, two, uh, the 300 yards. You will see a pond full of the lotuses you can drink water as much as you like, and you can eat the lotus, <laughs> the, the, the plant also. So now this, this, this the very tired person becomes very joyful. You <laughs> get PT. And also PT gives you, no, that gives you the energy. Then he can run. <laughs> he can run to, to the pond. No? So when you get to the pond, oh, no, you drink water and eating the, the, the grass, and that is, not similar to the feeling, feeling, enjoying the taste of the sense object. Okay, now we go to the next one again. So, and I already described to you, PT can be developed in five stages, yeah, no, the, the other day. So you remember, I remember, <laughs> I hope. And then we go to Chanda, no, wish, desire, or will. So like greed, no, greed craving is no, also the, uh, giving the translation at desire. And chanda is also desire. 
So what is another the difference? So we say Chanda has been translated as wish, desire or will and the chief characteristic of Chanda is the wish to do. No? So a desire for something without any attachment no? to that thing is Chanda. Chanda is ethically neutral psychological term. So, no? And it should be differentiated from immoral lopa, greed. No? Greed is immoral, no? immoral. And like Chanda is just neutral psychological term we say. And then lopa is, has a desire no, with attachment. No, if you want to possess, if you want to, uh, no, to, to possess the thing and then get attached to it. So chanda is not like that. No? It is just no, the wish to do. No? The wish to do, to wish. No? Because you have the wish to learn Vidama, now you come here. No? So everything, every action actually begins with the wish. No? We say here. No, every action begins with chanda. For example, the act of standing no, begins with the wish to stand up. So if you don't, you, know, you don't have the wish to stand up, you will never stand up. <laughs> Only when you have the wish, you stand up. And then we say it is also, the, you know, the, uh, for example, the journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step. No, we, we have a, an English saying. No, the journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step, and that first step is chanda. So, if you no, chanda, because of chanda, if you start no, the, the, the traveling, then no, we say no, the, the, even no, even a uh, foot a day, you know, and the, uh, the, 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 the journey is, uh, and, and and the journey is not far away, you know, we have like that. So, so if just you know, after you're beginning to walk, if you walk, you know, so every day, then sooner or later you arrive at the destination. We cannot go without the wish to go, and we cannot get to a place without the wish to, to be there. And then we have you know, the, the intensified wish is called will. No, strong wish is called will, and this will leads to success. As we have a saying, if there is a way, there is, and if there is a will, there is a way. So, no, like we here, Chanda is included among the four means of accomplishing one's ends. When the Buddha described four, no, four, four means of accomplishing one's, no, one's, uh, one, one's intention, so Chanda is also included along with Virya. So we can regard you know, Virya and Chanda as the key to success, to, su to success. So we finish the, the, you know, the neutral mental factors. You know, they are, we just remember, you know, they are very useful to us. They can be used for good, you know, good purposes as well as for bad purposes. It's up to you. No, like the, the effort. No, so you can exert the effort no, to learn the Abhidhamma, no, to know it, then you will learn Abhidhamma. No, and the other people, no, like the, no, the fishermen, the hunter, they also have great effort no, to do their work. No, so if they, no, they have great effort in their work, they also succeed there. No, so. <coughs> And we say no, the, the five jhana factors are also no, the included in the neutral mental factors. So we have, what are the five jhana factors? Vitekta, Vichara, Piti, Sukha, Sukha is that feeling, and Ikagata, one-pointedness. No? So by developing them, then you can attain, no? you can attain no, the the, the, the right concentration that makes the mind very very powerful no? and some some no? so some person they say well Dr. Mon, you have to meditate for long to, to develop the concentration mental concentration come with us we will show, I will show you we will show you how to develop concentration very fast so I follow them 
So they, they go to a secluded you know, quarter and then in a secluded house. And then they sit around a table, five of them. So they have the, you know, the, 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 the deck of cups. They, they dispute ten each. And then <laughs> they play poker <laughs> and also Hollywood. So they said, oh, very good concentration. We forgot everything. Our wife, <laughs> our job, all. we can just keep on you know, doing that day and night, he said. <laughs> very good concentration. <laughs> So you can see these are not good concentration. No? <laughs> it will lead you to the to the woe for boat. <laughs> so it's, so you, you should know that no, these mental factors can act two ways. So we go to the, the next group of mental factors. We go in moral mental factors. No? Akusalachi, the seekers. So we say no, these 14 mental factors. No, immoral mental factors are ethically immoral and they may be divided into four classes here and remember they are our no, bad qualities no, they are our, our qualities and they are the bad one and then no, we, we, give, we show you no, the, the, the brief method first so there are no, the and like in our, you can show the, the chart number two, it's quite good. No, chart number two. So in your chart number two, no, we show you the jade seekers. So no, there are 52 jade seekers and they are divided, like, no, they are described here. And then, they are first divided into three groups. Anya Samana, Jira Sika, 13, they are neutral mental factors. And 14, the, the immoral mental factors, Akusala, and the Jira Sika. No? So 14 of them. And then we, we have 25, no? the beautiful mental factors. So three groups. And then we, we have seen that these 13 neutral mental factors are again divided into two subgroups and we call them sub, no, sabba, sabba chikta sadharana. Sabba chikta sadharana means they associate with all, no, they associate with all consciousnesses collectively. So no, there are seven of them, pasa vidana, sanya chitana, Ekagata, Jivitendriya, and Manasikara. So I, know, I used to, no, to, to, to note them by their no, initial words. So, no, so I just make, make, make it rhyme. Pat we sanje e jimana. So that's all. Pat we sanje e jimana. <laughs> so no, sometimes no, they are like in, in the examination. No, they ask you to, to, to describe them no, in order, they say. Or they will ask you, what are the three, the, the three last, no, the, the essential mental factor? So you have to know that they are serious also. So if you just no, the, the, the keep thinking, Pat, Wei, Sanjay, E, Jimana. So, no, Pat is Pasa, Wei, Wei, Dana. Pat, Wei, San, San is Sanya, Je, Je, Dana. And then, no. Pawe Sanje, E, E Kagada, E, Pawe Sanje, E, G, G, Jiwi Tendriya, and Manasikara. So, no, so the, the, the six particulars. So, I also made no, a rhyme. So, we say, Tet Cha Vipi Chan Adi. So, Tet Cha Vipi Chan Adi. That is Vitaka. No, cha is Vichara. No, adi is Adi Mokha. And Chan is Chanda. That, that cha we, P, P is PT. No? Uh, that cha we, P, Chan Adi. Oh, oh we is Viriya. No, that cha we, P, Chan Adi. <laughs> adi Mokha. <laughs> so no, you, get, you get this. Now we go to the 14 immoral factors. They are classified into four groups. No? So we begin with the, no, the moha, chatoka. 
Moha. No, already you know it is ignorance. Moha. Chattuka means a group of four mental factors. No, a group of four mental factors. So they are the Moha group. They associate with all in moral mind. So these are uh, no, the, the 89 consciousnesses. No? So these are 89 in brief and 21, 21 no, in the total. And later we will see that. No? So we say this, no, the, the four Moha Chattuka, they associate with the 12 in moral mind, all in moral mind. And we have Lopa three, three means three. So three Lopa group. So Lopa is greed and uh, the you know, greed and craving. And then we have Deity, the, the wrong view. Mana is the mana is conceit, conceit. So you know, these are the Lopa three. And then we have Dosa Chetuka. So again Dosa is you know, Dosa is anger or hatred. So a group of four that associate to, you know, the, with the Dosa Mula Chaita. And then we have the last three, and three, we say. So now we are going this, you know, this group down. Okay, we get to the... <coughs> so Moha Chatuka, no? we also call them Akusala Sadharana. So Akusala means those, no, in the 12 immoral consciousnesses. No, it's all right. And then the Sadharana, <laughs> so Akusala Sarana means they associate with all in moral minds, no? these Moha Chatuka. So they, no, they, uh, they consist of, so Moha, you already know Moha, it is also called Avijja. No? So we give them the, the, no, the, the meaning, ignorance and delusion. And Ahirika, no, Ahirika, lack of moral shame, no, or we say moral shamelessness. So you are not ashamed to perform evil actions. And Anuttapa, no, A N O T, N O T is called not, no, Anuttapa. So O is pronounced O. When you put T there, it becomes O, no, Anuttapa, a lack of moral dread. And then it is like recklessness, or you are not no, afraid, and you are not scared to perform evil actions. And then Uddhaja, no, Uddhaja is restlessness of the mind, and also it is this distraction of the mind. And then we have no, Law Part 3, so they are called Papancha Dhamma. Papancha Dhamma means they are the Dhamma that extend the rounds of rebirth the rounds of riba that makes you to be born again and again. No, they are responsible. So no, you, you know Lopa. No, it is also called Raga and Tatna. So, no, the, so in the meaning is greed, uh, same desire or craving, craving or desire. So the desire is only desire for sense objects. No, it, so when you when you no you you, you want to get the, the nibbana, it is not it is not the <laughs> lopa. No, when you want to get lopa, it is the wish. No, the wish to get uh, the lopa, and then also attachment, no? attaching to that sense object, and then deity is the wrong view, and mana is conceit or pride, and then dosa jatuka, no, we call hateful ones. So. Dosa is also called Patiga, so we have seen in the Dosa Mula Chaita. And uh, so the meaning is hatred, anger, or ill will. And Iksa, no? so I, I is, no? I is I, as when you put S, so you get Iksa. Iksa is envy or jealousy. Macharya, no? Macharya is avarice or stinginess. And Kukucha, is worry or remorse. No, these are the group of dosa mula chaita. So, no, actually, they, they make you, no, they make your mind, they make you unhappy, and then they burn the mind. Actually, no, they associate with the dosa mula. No, dosa mula is domana sa sa gatam. 
accompanied by painful mental feelings. So when they arise, no, you get the mental pain. And then the last three is we call Dao or Weaving One. So the Tina is Lord. And then Mida is Stopper. And actually, these are laziness. No? It makes you lazy. So if your effort is, 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 is weak, then they will arise in the mind. No? You become lazy and, you, and, and even sleepy and fall asleep. And then Miji Kicha is Septical Doubt or Perplexity. Now we give you no, the, 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 the broader meaning now. So Moha, Ignorance and Delusion. So when we say Ignorance, it, is, it makes us no, to be ignorant of the true nature of sense objects. No, sense object includes living beings and non-living things. Mm. And all these are made up of mentality and materiality. And as mentality and materiality, no, they are arising and perishing very, very rapidly. So we say they have no, the characteristics of a nature impermanent. Mm. Dukkha, suffering, and anatta, not self, and asupa. No, loathsomeness or disgusting. So remember, this mentality, mentality, no, as they arise and perish very rapidly, so they have this full characteristics. No? So, so the, the first three we go, no, the, 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 the characteristics of existence, we, we, so we can also say like that. So they are impermanent, as they arise and perish very, very first. So, no, we, uh, uh, so they are not satisfactory, and they cannot be say pleasant because you know, as soon as they arrive, they perish. So we say it. it you know, so we uh, it is like being tortured by by the dissolution of our mentality, materiality, of our body and mind. You not know, perishing, perishing. So that amounts to suffering, and uh, as everything, you know, so, so they perish and nothing remains to be called no, Atta, that is the soul, no, or the or Jiva, ego, etc. So we say they are not self, and then, no, and then as they, are, no, they, they, they are give rise to suffering, they are not no, the pleasant actually, so they are no, disgusting and loathsomeness. As Moha blinds our mind eyes, we cannot see no, the extremely rapid and the extremely rapid and incessant arising and perishing of mentality and materiality and the consequent four characteristics mentioned here. So when we cannot see the true nature of things, we get confused and we take you know, the opposite characteristics to be true. So you know, we see things as Nature, so instead of a nature, no, we see, so instead of a nature, we see nature. Nature mean, no, nature mean permanent. So then, and then, the sukha, no, instead of dukkha, we take it to be sukha, pleasant, and atta, self or person, and supha to be beautiful. So, no, we, we have the, this, uh, the, no, this con uh, the concept. So judo, the the, the, you know, the, 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 the the moha making out to be to be ignorant of the true nature, and that's why you know, the people, you know, as they see things and all you know, the living beings to be attractive, and to be pleasant, and then you know, the, 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 they, they can give rise to also to piti sukha, you know, so they enjoy sense pleasure. So we say on account of this wrong vision of moha, a chain of undesirable you know, the consequences, including sufferings and miseries, arise one after another. Then moha is like the director of a movie film. You know, it directs everything. You know, so by giving the, you know, this wrong, wrong vision, so you know, they make lopa to be, you know, to be you know, the craving for sense object. So they, they give you know, like the deity, the, 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 you know, the wrong vision, that I, I exist, you know? so they give like that. So these are due to you know, the direction of this moha. Actually moha is, the, is regarded 
as the leader of this immoral mental factors, you know, this moha. It is the leader. And because it gives uh, the wrong vision, so, you know, so all the other the immoral mental factors become active. You know, for, for example, we say, okay, you know, like they take having the wrong view and thinking that I exist, I know most, so mana, pride and you know, conceit will also arise. And then above here, so you now because it blinds uh, not to know karma in result, so the people you know, are not afraid to perform evil action. You know, they don't know that you know, the, the, re the reaction will come if, if, if billion fold. You know, they don't know about that. And the, uh, as moha you know, blinds are us, and not to know what is good and what is bad, what is noble and what is wicked, it does not know. So it is, you know, it is shameless to perform evil actions. So, uh, because of that, you know, we, we, reg we can regard Moha as you know, the, the, the director of a movie film. So the director, you know, he directs everything you know, for the whole movie you know, to, to, <coughs> to, you know, to take part. But we cannot see you know, the, the director on the, on the screen. <laughs> So we don't know the director, the director no? because he does not appear on the, on, on, on the, on the screen. No? So the same thing, no? the moha, because no, it, it blinds us not to know the, the same thing and it gives us no, all evil, no, the unpleasant thing, and, but we don't know it is judu moha. No? We don't know that. And then we have, now we see no, the ahirika. So when you don't know what is good and bad, so you, you, know, you have moral shamelessness to perform the, the, an evil action. So this ahirika is compared with a village pig. pig no? A village pig does not feel lo loathsome in eating the, no, the, the excrement. So ahirika does not feel loathsome in committing evil deeds. And a notable moral fearlessness no, so again we say it does not know the karma in result. And then that you know, if you perform evil action, you have to suffer in, you know, in hell for billions of years. So if you don't know that, so, you know, so the anotapa are just a person not to be afraid of committing immoral action, speeches and thoughts. And then it is compared to immort, no, immort that is single, uh, sink by fire. So the moth no, thinks that, oh, no, the flame is very attractive, very beautiful. So it, no, it just, no, it, it comes to, and then it jumps into the, no, the, the, the flame actually, and it gets burns and die. No? So not a is just like that. And Uddhaja is restlessness, it makes the mind no, the, to be restless. And it is compared with the, you know, with the flag fluttering in the wind. Or you know, it, the stop state of a heap of ashes. So if there are a heap of ashes, if you throw a stone into the ashes, you know, they, dis, you know, they disperse like that. So it makes the mind you know, the restless and disperse in that way. So you know, this is the, 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 the Moha group. Now we get to the, the Lopa group. So, no, so in the Lopa group, Lopa is the leader. So we translate it as greed, craving, and attachment. Now, Lopa desires and craves for sensual pleasure, money, wealth, fame, power, etc. So it does not crave for Abhidhamma. <laughs> it does not crave. No, no. Creep for Nibbana, it does not creep for, no? And then it will never give up this intrinsic nature of desiring, however much one may possess. The more we get, the more we desire for. Even the whole earth, on, uh, the whole world on earth, cannot satisfy the desire of Lopa. No? This is stated by the Buddha. And then I told you once, in the no, Mahatma Gandhi, also made the statement, no, the world has enough no, for all the people no, to share, to, to, to enjoy, but not enough for one man's greed. No, he said, very good. No? So the world has enough for all, all the people's need, but
but not enough for one man's greed. Okay, no. So now, <coughs> the the second nature of lopa is attachment or clinging to the sensuous object. Now, if the Korean movie is very good, so you are attached to the movie. So what time the movie <laughs> is is show? So you are waiting. <laughs> <laughs> so you 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 will watch you know, every day like like that. Now we we have where where do we have? So and that is also you know, the the. the and uh, the about adopt that the here we, we we have to come here no so about the attachment of greed no so we say that the a hunter no uh, they are, so they are they are going to compare the attachment to to uh, no to, to, to they, they call monkey catching glue they say no monkey catching glue <laughs> so no the and the hunter so no, he went to the forest every day to hunt, no, to hunt the like the deers and all these things. But when all those no deers are on, that, that he he no he cannot find any one of them. But he saw oh there are no several monkeys on a very very tall tree. So at that time, as the, the hunter is using only you no know, the bow and arrow, so he cannot shoot them. They are very high. So he want to catch them, no, to catch this monkey. So what he made may is, so you know, with, uh, with his knife, he cut, you know, that he just, you know, that he, uh, there are many trees, just the only part of you know, the, the tree, he cut it and you know, many gum were, 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 you know, were come out. So he, he collected all the gum from various trees. And then you know, he tried you know, to, to heat them together, it became very, very sticky. So no, he applied this no the the glue, monkey catching glue <laughs> not this one. So no, you cannot hold with your hand. Actually, you have to with a stick. No, you take the gum, and then he apply on the on the trunks of several trees. Apply this no, apply this on the on the on the trunks of the tree. So then he will hide no, the, uh, the behind the bush actually. So those monkeys were very very curious. So they were looking, what this hunter is doing? <laughs> so now, when the sun rises and the sun no, falls on here, you get a spectrum, no, spectrum. So no, like the, the rainbow spectrum, you get various color. So they are very interested. Oh, what are those? No, those spectrum, this color, so they came down. <laughs> they came down. And as they are very curious, they try to, no, to feel it. As soon as they feel it, the, the hand is stuck, <laughs> it cannot pull out. So when it cannot pull out, it push with the other hand. <laughs> so, already, so, so stuck, so it tried to kick it. <laughs> stuck again, try to kick, stuck again, then it push with the hand. <laughs> so the whole, the whole body of the 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 buggy was stuck on the on the on the glue there, so the hunter could come out and can you know, can catch the hunt the the monkey, no. So in the same way we say, you no, know, because we are attached to our family, not to our wife or husband, to our property, so no, you cannot get away from your house. So if you are someone, your your no, your friend asks you, now let's go for meditation. No, so it's very good to you know, do meditate and, and thank you meditation center. <laughs> no? Oh, I have many things to do. <laughs> I cannot go yet. <laughs> so you no, know, what happened? No, as they, they cannot go like that. So now we say no. The Bali people are very much attached family by lopa, no, to sense objects as well as to their possessions. They cannot renounce the world and their worldly possession, including wives and husbands and sons and daughters. So they are being caught up 
by old age, so by you know, be postponing, postponing to, for meditation, they become old, and then they get the disease and finally die, light of the life, without meditation. <laughs> so, no, so Lopa, together with its two follower, two you know, the followers, we call they take the wrong view, and mana, no, the pride or conceit. So three of them, no, they are responsible for extending the life cycle of all the round of rebirth. No, that is known as samsara. No? So the round of rebirth, the long round of rebirth. No? So which is endless, being born again and again. So we call that in samsara, no? samsara in Pali. On account of this, no, this fact, Lova, Deji, and Mana are called Pak Panja Dhamma. No? So at the top we give the name Pak Panja Dhamma. Now we you know something to know about the deity, the wrong view. So, no? deity, the wrong view, no? usually, no? the other, uh, the, oh, deity, just deity, it means views, belief, or opinion. So when you, con and you combine it with some uh, deity, it means the right view. So if you put it mecha deity, it becomes the wrong view. Now as here, deity is taken as immoral mental factor, so we have to take it as mecha deity. And it has been explained above that moha clouds the mind and blinds the eye, and because moha blinds our mind, now it is also called avijja, no, avijja, blinds our mind. Not to see things as they really are. It makes one see things as no, nature, permanent, sukha, pleasant, at self or person, and super beautiful. Because of this wrong vision, Lopa clings and attaches to this self and person. So the Buddha even said that everybody no, everybody loves himself or herself most. No, if the, if a man comes and uh, asks the lady, "Oh, I love you more than myself," so remember he is lying. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, as Loba also no, clings to the self, no, to the self and person. So the deity also gets no, the wrong view, we say. The most basic and universal wrong view is called personality belief. No, in Pali, we call Sakkaya deity. No, so taking this body and mind as a person, no, that is personality belief, it's called. And then another equivalent, not similar word is ego illusion. It is Atta deity. So thinking that a soul or atta exists in us. No? And then the soul and the atta no, directs everything. They, they think like that. No? So, and then, no? Sakkaya Deity believes that the combination of mind and body is I, you, he, she, and then man, woman, person, etc. And atta Deity believes in the existence of no, an atta or soul or ego in the body. So another b basic wrong view no, is taking karma and its karma result not to exist. Because of this wrong view, people perform all sorts of evil actions. So these are very important wrong view actually. No? Thinking that I exist and you know, I, I, I is most important and then no, the not knowing karma in result. If you don't know karma in result, you have the wrong view. Uh, and this wrong view, because of this wrong view, people perform all no, evil actions. So from this basic wrong view and personality belief, as well as from the ignorance due to moha, there spring up thousands of wrong views. So nowadays there are no, thousands of wrong views nowadays. Not just no, for, the, for the betterment of the, the, this eye. Not the people, they invent many, many other wrong views. 
And now we get mana, pride, and conceit. So mana, just like deity, is also a, by, a byproduct of moha and lopa. Huh? Moha gives the wrong vision that persons exist and that they are permanent, pleasant, and beautiful. So lopa clings to these persons. And mana looks on this self-person as I am the best, I know most, and I have no equals in the world. So no, this is, is pride of mana. So this conceit of pride is of three kinds. The equality conceit, they call mana. Inferiority conceit is o mana. Superiority conceit is ati mana. No, so the, there are three kinds of the, the manha, no, the pride. No? So the equality conceit means, no, no, means that you are a man, I am a man, you have hands, I have hands. Okay, we can not challenge you. So we can fight if you want to. <laughs> so there is equality conceit. And then inferiority conceit means you are inferior to the other person. No, you are a worker and the other person is no, the, the manager. So you now when they, 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 you know, they get angry to each other, so you know, this young, you know, the, you know, the, the imperial man would, would challenge, you stand up there, I stand on the ground, I, I will never fall, you will fall on that one, okay, we'll do, <laughs> we'll challenge you, just like that. You know, and just like the, you know, the, the Syria, so who is that man who challenged America? Who, who died, who, who actually died? Saddam Hussein. Saddam Hussein. So Saddam Hussein no, challenged America. You American, American army, come. No, we are, we, our army are well trained on for the desert, no, the, uh, desert battle. We will kill all of you if you come. <laughs> but when American come in 68, no, they even uh, uh, got to Baghdad, no, Baghdad. So, and then finally they caught the Saddam Hussein and he was killed. No? So and then, no, the, like the American, no, they, they are superior, no, superior. So they also have no, the superior, superior conceit. Oh, you are just a small country. We are very strong. You are nothing no, to, to, for us to, 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 to fight to. So that is the superiority conceit. And then, as the saying goes, pride will help a fall. No? Pride or conceit is not a virtue to be proud of. No? So, it's not good, it is just you know, the immoral mental factor. Now we go to the dosa group. So the dosa group, you know, so dosa himself, we call it anger, hatred or evil. So it is translated you know, as hatred, anger or evil. And it is the most destructive element in the world no? that, is, that is set by the Buddha. It is most frightful, than, more frightful than the atomic weapon. Of course, when someone pulls a trigger on the atomic weapon, he does so under the influence of dosa. Normally, when one you know, encounters with a desirable sense object, greed, lopa arises. And when one encounters with undesirable objects, anger or aversion arises. The anger dosa destroys one first before it destroys others. Not only inflated dosa, no, as the one present in, the, in an angry person, but also depressed dosa, as the one felt by a sad or depressed person are destructive. Those are give rise to stress and strain, mental depression, and mental tension, which in turn give rise to many diseases. So, no, in the Time magazine, no, they are produced by the America, so they, they, they have the statement, they say, 90% of the patients nowadays no, who go to the clinics, they have diseases connected with the mind. So, no, 
people are having diseases, ninety <laughs> percent, no, because you know, they are connected with their mind. Just like you know, if you have you know, the <coughs> you you have you no know, stress and strain, mental depression, and then mental tension, then you, know, you you cannot sleep, you cannot eat, and you become sick. You know? So. It is wise never to not uh, never to allow anger arise in the mind, for it brings about only bad effects. We should develop loving kindness to drive away anger as soon as anger arises. So if you get angry, <laughs> so the best thing is not to develop loving loving kindness. Loving kindness adosa, adosa, the opposite of dosa. Huh? So if, we, <coughs> no, so if we can make wise reflection, no, we, we, cannot get, we will not get angry. No, we will not get angry. No, when a man comes no, to, to, no, to say something bad about you, so no, you, you, you need not be angry. Oh, no, he is, he is abusing me. He is abusing me. He is already he is having anger, no, anger in his mind. So that anger already burns his, uh, his mind. So I need, I, don't, I need not do anything towards him. He already you know, suffering already. And because of this bad action, when he dies, he, you know, he, he will have to suffer in, in jail or uh, in, in, in hell. So in that way, you, you, you can even develop you know, compassion to that person. No, to compassion, oh, he's ignorant. <laughs> he does not, so he began to fight me. So now if you just no, relate loving kindness, may he be happy and well, may he be happy and well. So no, if you sincerely wish a person to be happy and well, then that becomes, no, that man very soon becomes very friendly to you. Very friendly to you. No? So, so no, the, the word is, the, 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 the other word is, no, what can I help you? That's a very good one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are you are you are getting angry to me. What can I help you? <laughs> That's very <really> nice. <laughs> so we get the companions of the dosa. Hsa, hsa is jealousy. Uh, it, it has the characteristic of envy, envying others' success and prosperity. As such, it is objective. No, it looks for to others. It it looks it looks not to oneself but to others, no? and some people. So you now you walk together. One man get promotion. You don't get you know, the promotion. Then you feel very bad. You now you feel very bad. He said, "Oh, you, know, you become jealous of him, or oh, he is always always approaching. You no, know, get getting you know, the you not know, the, uh, the, uh, the very very friendly with with the manager. So he get that." So the promotion, you will say like that. And then we have machriya, avarice or stinginess. Machriya has the characteristic of concealing one's property. No, you conceal no, your property, you don't want to know that you possess so many things, so much money, so that other people will not, no, will not borrow <laughs> these things or money from you. No? And then we have, okay, the next... Uh, Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now we take a break for 15, for 15 minutes. <laughs>